Hi, welcome to Painting Time. I'm David Chitowski, and today we're going to be painting a striped bass feeding off the north end rip of Block Island. To start, I'm, to start this painting, I'm going to use a little light blue, which I find, and, and paint um, a line right across the painting like that, and I find a light blue is a very non-aggressive color, uh, which can uh, work in the future um, if you're going to hide the, you know, it kind of disappears down the line. So I have this one horizontal line and then I'm going to do these lines like this and these are, uh, these are actually will be the underside of the waves like that. Like you're looking up underneath the water now we're going to paint the striper and I'm going to start here and I want to make sure is that I fit the fish into the composition here. So there's your striper, here's his tail here. And I'm gonna put in, put in his gill plate. And he's gonna be feeding, he's gonna be filling, feeding on silver sides, which would be passing through the island in the late fall. And I'll put in his, uh, his eye, just right like that. Then I'll pit, put in his, uh, his pectoral fin right there, his dorsal fin, and his fin down there. Now we have one other fin to put in. And that is right here, right here. And like I said, he's, that's a little bit lower. So I'm just, I'm, I'm painting uh, the striped bass. He's moving forward like this and he's chasing a school of silver sides like so. And we can just kind of real loosely Jesterly put the silver sides in like that and they're coming out of the water which is when you fish when you're out there fishing that's what you look for you look for the stripers you know busting the bait pushing the bait out of the water it's very interesting uh, that the silver side uh, has that silver line going down its side almost as if to tell the striper, to indicate the striper where it is. All right, so I'm gonna put in the iris. I like to paint um, the eyes. I really do like to paint uh, the eyes. Almost, almost obviously, almost immediately because uh, that that for some reason that helps me. It helps, you know, get the feeling of the painting and then I want to paint in the his the uh, the lines on the striper. Stripers have about seven lines that run on them, and but I don't want to be too aggressive with this black because uh, there's one, two, three, four. And now I'm starting to curve that line. You see that change in the direction? Of the, and you do that because the, the striper is going to be his stomach. So the line is going to follow the, you have to imagine in your mind's eye that that line is following the curvature of the fish. 
and then there's one more just like that and these all go together right there so so very loosely we started with our striper now we want to kind of go and put in the um, uh, go and start real casually putting in the background I'm going to take some white I'm going to add a little bit of uh, this bronze color a little bit of yellow and a little bit of black and I'm going to just mix that up get that nice and loose and I'm going to apply this right about here start right there And so this is going to be end up being the uh, the north, the very northern part of Block Island. I went to a larger brush, and I just want to move right along here. Don't. So we're going to put in. This is going to be the the northern part of Block Island right here, uh, where there's a north light, the lighthouse, and. We're going to just kind of sneak that right past those jumping silver sides. Get that in there like that. Then there's a little bit of something in the paint, and I don't particularly care for it. So just this is the sand, the sand, the sand dunes. We'll get that all in there like that then you want to add just a little bit of uh, grass on top of that I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of darker green a little bit of black and I'm just gonna kind of put the beach grass in like that and that kind of just fades off into into space. Then we're going to just bring that down a little bit. That north end is one of the right here is one of the best spots on the island to fish for stripers and in one of the best spots in the state of Rhode Island. So there we have the the landmass in the back kind of just want to smooth that down a little bit and I'm gonna add a little bit of black to that and I'm just gonna say there's a rock right there right there and then there's another rock right there now I want to put in this north light so that's the lighthouse at the end of the uh, island. So what I want to do is I want to just add a little bit of white to this. And I want to put this north light right about here. I don't want to get too crazy with it because it's really, you know, it's, it's not that much of the main focus of the painting. But we just want to kind of paint. Uh, Paint a little uh, square right there like that. And then we're going to go up with, we're going to lighten it because I'm going to have the sun setting in the background. I'm going to change that to something like that and like that. And there you have it. That's the actual structure of the building. And then I'm going to darken it, make a little, get a little um, dark for the roof, a little bit of red for the roof, add a little black and we're going to put in the roof and the roof is going to go like let me get add a little bit of 
and I'll calm that down a little bit. And we're going to Then we're actually gonna now we're gonna put the lighthouse itself in. And I believe this lighthouse was built back in 1861. And we're just gonna put to do that, we're going to just add a little bit of white right here. And now I'm using acrylic and I'm not going to worry too much, you know, that that got a little red in it because um, it's easy enough to go back and paint. But you want to um, keep going with, keep going to get your composition. And that's the, that's the most important part. So there we have our lighthouse. I'll bring this down like this. So now we have the lighthouse in the back, the striper here, and what we're going to do is we're going to start putting in the underwater habitat underneath the bass here. I'm going to add. Now, underwater, there's a lot of greens under there. And that will fade, that will fade back into space. Start by blocking this in. And then back here will be the darkest area. And what that do, what that will do, will create depth. You have the uh, darkest area in the back, behind the fish. And it will shoot, and we're gonna add a little bit, there's sand down there too, so we're gonna add a little bit of sand color in there. A little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of this bronze. And okay. At this point, when as you do this, at this point, you don't you don't want to really get caught up with the details. You want to keep the main thing is to keep moving. It's a you know, this is a very big canvas. It's, it, it's, you have to keep moving. But as I said before, you have the lighter, the lighter in the background, the, the lighter area in the background, excuse me, the darker area in the background and the lighter area in the foreground. And I'm just going to kind of warm that up a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want to get too carried away. You know, not too, just a little bit. It's going to add a little bit of, now, the same principle holds true to when we paint the water. It's going to go from, it's going to go from the dark area to the light. As the water, this is going to be our darkest area. So as the water rises to the surface, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. This is ultramarine blue. 
and I'm gonna move this up and as I move up it'll get lighter and lighter and that will create the effect that you want that the, the light is coming down from above and we're now at the waves the top of the waves and this is this is called blocking in we have the kind of a rough drawing we want to just block in get as much paint uh, get as much of the what of the canvas covered get as much as the canvas covered as you can initially get the, the white of the canvas covered there's a um, that that white holds resistance and so I just want to jump over why I'm doing this I just want to jump over a little bit and add a little bit just a little bit of detail to this bass so that you can see um, you know how I approach the striper here I just take a green they have a green on the top of their head and I just want to Take that, move that right along the right along his top, kind of bend it, bend it a bit over the back of the fish, like so. And we're going to come into his tail, and we're not going to worry too much about those lines. Those lines are going to be um, those black his black stripes. They're there. They're going to help us down the line. The uh, the markings. And you see how I kind of bend, take that paint. That's what you have to imagine in your mind's eye. You have to imagine the fish is a tube and that you're going to, um, you know, you're going to, you're bending the paint over the tube of the fish. And we want to get that. Now, I want to get some, just want to get, I don't want to get too carried away, but I want to get, um, you know, a little more, just a little more something on the fish so that he's not just completely um, white in this, in this demonstration. Now, I'll show you how I like to, really quick, I'll just show you how I like to bring out the eyes. And as you, how I paint is I keep, uh, I keep refining, I keep refining my subjects, keep uh, going back and, but I also move all over the canvas, but I do, I do like to keep keep refining my subjects as I go about and as I'm painting I'll say oh that looks good and I like that and maybe I'll leave it um, you know put a little yellow here a little yellow around that eye and get that going and at least I'm gonna put these the rays of his Rays of his fins in. And as this is just the beginning of the painting, his tail is going to come down right here. And like that. You have to uh, you have to keep moving. You know when you start when you start going uh, you know thinking too much. Uh, the painting will well come arduous. You know come come become difficult, and you don't really want that. Now I can just do something really 
you know, this is a, a just a wash. I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow, and I even got some lavender in there, which is not a bad color to have uh, with stripers. They do definitely have uh, lavender on their fins. It's um, they really uh, they really do sometimes. But I just maybe I want to add a little bit more yellow to that. But I just want to creep this creep a little bit of yellow into there, you know, uh, to kind of give that fish a little more life. As you can see, it start it'll start coming uh, it'll start coming out. And now this is this is all this is is just a rough draft of the painting, but it's a good rough draft. It's a good start, and it will help you. It'll help you finish that, that you have you have everything laid out. And real quick, I would want I want to put in the background um, that it is a uh, we're gonna paint. It's a sunset there, so we're gonna start with some reds like that. And that you, I'm going to blend down into that this kind of purplish area. I'm going to just blend down into that red. And then I'm painting it with acrylic paint. And the good thing about acrylic is that if the great thing about acrylic is if I don't particularly care for anything, you know, you can just wait five minutes and it it's dry and you can go over it. Now this is kind of like a uh, subtle gray in the back, grayish purple in the background that fades into the, that will fade into the, the red of the sunset by the lighthouse. All right, go into there like that. And that red will just go down into a yellow and bring that and we're going to have Say the sun's gonna be setting right here. Just get a couple clouds in there. Clean. Now I have a little bit of area here, but one thing I do want to jump back in is I want to jump back in and just kind of put the um, put the top on that lighthouse for some reason that's jumping out at me. Just put a little bit of black up here like that. All right. That's all. That's all. Just a little bit of black kind of bring that lighthouse uh, there's actually there's also a little a little bump over here too on there right here little part of the architecture And as I said before, you just as you do this, you just keep going back and and uh, working your craft. But the main thing is to get one of the main things is is to get the canvas covered and to 
to break the resistance. There's resistance with paintings. There's resistance with uh, creative creative endeavors that you know. As you see this little this little, um, I'm gonna move to a larger larger brush, and I'm just gonna finish. I bring that water to land, just like that. And so you have the water hitting the land, which at the north end of Block Island, and you have the underseas, and you have a striper feeding on uh, silver sides. And I can just kind of clean that up a little bit too. And as you go about doing this, it's a very relaxing to do. It takes, you know, it takes your mind off the different uh, things that you you may be dealing with because you have to focus on this. I just kind of want to get rid of, you know, get rid of some of this white. And so here, here you have your our composition. The stri striper is going to be striking these, and 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 as time goes on. Uh, you'll craft that, you know. You'll craft the the gills, and you'll craft the eye, and you'll craft the the you know the uh, the fins, and work on bringing the depth. But a good thing to remember is that you start with the, like the dark green in the back, and then the lighter colors up front, and that'll push the eye uh, backwards into the into the canvas, and then you have the lighter on the top, and that goes back into space too, and that there's a really um, these are really effective tools. As you can see, I finished the painting. They worked on the details of the striped bass, cleaned up the fins, cleaned up his tail. I went into the sunset and uh, made that a little more beautiful, and I brought out the stars as the sun, as the sun is uh, going um, deep into the distance, and the stars are coming out. I did some more detail on the north light and as you can see that I worked on the bricks and the windows. The north light was uh, constructed in 1861 and it is working and it's still out there on the north tip of Block Island. It's a beautiful structure. Now I changed the fish from Silver Sides to Menhaden. Menhaden are very, very important fish and they are feeding on plankton. The Menhaden convert the plankton, which are small uh, uh, plants in the water into protein which the striped bass feeds on. Here in the ocean state, if we really protect our menhaden, our fish stocks with the striped bass and the bluefish and many many other fish will increase and be bountiful all due to the menhaden. I went along the bottom and as you can see I, I added a, a little cunner down there which is a native fish. I added some mussels and a clam and added some seaweed to really, to really uh, fit the fish into its environment. And that's what you would see. There's a little scallop down here. And that's what you would see if you were diving off the coast of Block Island. I want to thank you very, very much for joining me in painting time. And I hope to see you again. Thank you.